Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. The Steam 100 BLX Pro Stock version, I've been testing this racket with uh, pretty human specs, around 3 to 3 swing weight strung, with all the power at 49 pounds. Obviously this racket is not a Blade 98 as you can see here, but it's actually a Steam 100 and it's one of the most popular rackets on the WTA Tour for Wilson players. We have Paula Badosa, Mira Andreeva, the new sensation, Amanda Anisimova, Emma Raducanu. There's so many players using this racket. You can usually tell by the four white grommets. So Daniel and I both tried this racket and here are our verdict. Fellow tennis nerds, we're here with a pro stock that's pretty popular, or I'll say very popular on the WTA Tour. It's a, a Steam 100 BLX. I usually talk about this one because it has four main grommets that are white. I don't know the reasoning behind this. It's very strange but it's one way to tell it. I don't know if Wilson have changed something up now that it's blacked out, so you can't really say that it's a pro stock, but you usually see it in a Blade cosmetic. And this is the Blade V7 cosmetic, even says Blade 98, and this is not a Blade 98, I think most people can say. Uh, it's a 100 square inch racket, but with pretty, like, I would say narrow mm. beam, right? 1620 pattern, so you get a bit better control uh, with it than you would probably with a lot of power rackets in this type of category. Uh, quite thick beam, but not ultra thick, I think 24 millimeters. And your thoughts, Daniel, from hitting with it? He had a brief hit with it, but uh, you, you were pretty happy with it, no? Yeah, I liked it. It's uh, a bit lighter. I usually don't play with, with uh, the rackets that are that light, but I, I like that you can accelerate it very fast and it's, uh, it's pretty stable for the, for the weight. So that's what I like. I like the string pattern as well. So I, it, I'm, I'm used to the 16 to 1620. And this, this gave me basically the same feeling from the string bed. It's a bit flimsy due to the weight, yeah. but yeah. overall, I really like it. I liked it. It's, uh, it has a L2 grip, which makes it a bit difficult to compare, right? Because yeah. it's, uh, it's I a would bit need thin. to bump it up. Maybe use yeah. like uh, one of those, we talked about it before, the, the grip, um, the shrink sleeve. So it's yeah. a weird name for something that increases the, the grip size, but, but you can like, I, we're, I think he's more of a grip four even, I'm more grip three. And this grip feels a little bit small, so it does wobble a bit. So if you could get the wrong grip, it's good to tell you guys, if you don't already know, the grip shape and size is one of the most important things when you choose a racket. Actually, it sounds very strange, but it, if you don't feel comfortable holding the grip and you cannot adjust the grip, it, it's, it, you're not gonna play the best tennis yeah. with it, right? But, but overall, I understand why it's, why it's a popular choice. Yeah. Because the racket, is, this is a good racket. Yeah. If, I, if, if I would use it and like tweak it a bit to my specs, I could use that. I got this from uh, Johan, so thanks Johan. And uh, I would probably add some more weight because now I measured the swing weight before I left. It was 286 unstrung. This is all the power, 1.25 at 49 pounds, it's 22 kilos. Uh, I would say it's, it's not quite up to the swing weight we both usually like, which is closer to 330. You go a bit above 330. I try to stay a little bit below 330 or on it. Uh, but some extra weight, maybe a 12 here, and you have a nice racket, and then increase. Yeah. Uh, maybe put some, uh, like if you put the shrink sleeve, you add like 15 grams, and then you can actually really get like a nice grip uh, sh and uh, good shape and everything. So 100% understand why this is popular on the WTA Tour, and I think there might be some many players that use it as well, uh, but it might need some beefing up uh, if you play strong players. But uh, yeah, good stick. Yeah, I like Steam it. 100. Some playability points of the racket. It feels solid, as we said. It uh, has uh, not a huge sweet spot, but you really feel the ball in the string bed. I think from what I've heard from other players that tried the retail version of the Steam 100 BLX, that the Pro Stock plays a bit different, a bit softer, uh, a bit more distinct with the sweet spot and so on. And that makes sense. That happens sometimes with Pro Stocks. Uh, so yeah, really good playability. I think the 1620 pattern gives you control, but some more lift over the the net so I, I think that really works well uh, you felt like you could play a one-handed back and well two-handed back and didn't matter uh, gives you a balanced power kind of like a speed a little bit like a speed pro and this racket worked really well for my style with some more tweaking around string choice and so on i think this could be something that i, I use regularly no problem it's just that 100 square inch not too thick beam 1620 pattern uh, good on serve slightly extended length helps you to get a bit more power so yeah, it's a racket I like a lot. Uh, not sure why Wilson doesn't bring it back in some way because there's so many pros using it. Call it like a Blade uh, 100, blah, blah, blah. But uh, 
very good racket and uh, has everything really that I could look for in a stick. So I must say I, I enjoyed this a lot and I will keep playing with it. I need to tweak the strings. For me, the tension was a bit low uh, when we tried it, uh, but I will now uh, start dialing it in. But I can already recommend it if you happen to come upon some pro stock somewhere and uh, I want to play with this racket that uh, so many WTA pros use. Uh, so that's pretty much the review. Uh, good stick. Really fun racket to use. I will keep you posted how it goes if I keep playing with this one. Uh, there are so many other good rackets out on the market, so it's tough to make a choice, but you know that already. If you need help finding a racket, you can check out the Tennis Nerd Guide, uh, which gives you a lot of information around swing weight, weight balance, and so on. Recommendations, links to reviews, links to pro player rackets. And if you're really, really lost, you can also get a consultation that is on the website as well. That's it. <clears throat> Have a nice day and... Don't forget to play some tennis. <laughs>